For cooking Piadena here we have uh, the traditional uh, uh, cooking tool called Testo is made uh, in uh, earthenware but uh, nowadays uh, we can use uh, also this uh, cast iron pan for cooking piadina this is more modern after leavening uh, we take the bowl then we will split this bowl in many other little bowls for making piadina now we make the small bowls as small as a golf ball then we will press them for making piadina and now we shape piadina these are the balls the smaller will be the, the balls the easier will be to cook piadina on the testo we can use uh, first uh, the rolling pin traditionally the rolling pin you press and shape piadina so This is the first way of making piadina and the traditional. The way for shaping piadina is to use a cover, as you can see, and you press using your hand until you have a desk for piadina. Now, okay, you can see it is not so thin as you're in the rolling pin, but it's a bit about. Now we cook piadina, we put it on the hot uh, testo, it, uh, we make uh, a cross if you want, it's not necessary, but traditionally we make a cross for cutting after cooking, pinch all over the piadina with a fork, and as you can see it cooks very quickly, about one, two minutes, when you see that uh, it's so, you can turn all over bottom. You see that it makes that it makes bubbles. See the bubbles. So it means that it's cooking well. And turn over, turn up to down. And then as you can see, it cooks very quickly. It must be just a little brown on the top. And now piadina. Is ready it's quite ready just as you can see when it's brown not all brown but when you see the bubbles drowning it is ready if you want to freeze it frozen uh, don't cook it too much as you must cook when uh, you take it from the freezer